you got to figure out a way to get the nerves down and go out there and dominate and have a great time. First pitch. A pair of games in the state tournament. His manager says he's a big game pitcher, but he gives up a base hit to begin the top of the first inning to Dylan Lawler. Ready to go. Ground ball right side. Fielded by Leonetti. The race to the base. And he is out. Bakirs back through the middle. It's a leadoff single to begin the bottom of the first. Back out with the pitch limits. Won't see him back out today. Waits on the breaking ball. Smacks it deep to right center field. And it's gone. Wow. Big Joey coming up. Takes that big breaking ball. Jumps on home plate. He's letting everybody know, I'm coming here to play rain or not. Watch me do what I do. The big man coming up clutch to start off this game. What power, what poise. Look at this, hanging breaking ball, takes it the other way. No better feeling than that. Joey, great start to the game. New York doing what they do best. That's his fourth home run of the summer. Payoff pitch, misses outside. It's a two-out walk to Max Mulhall. It's tied for this Fairfield American Little League team to go to Raleigh's restaurant before every home game. That's a shot that'll get down into the gap in right center. Keys with the runner coming to the plate. He is out. Max Mulhall gunned down at the plate on a marvelous relay. Very good play by the defense. He didn't get ahead of himself there. My man Castellano in center field. Oh, excuse me, right field. Alex Pagano with the beautiful throw to second. Short stop. This is Michael Clark leading off for New York and drawing a walk against Drew Kane. Probably going to swing at it, so let's see if he can connect or not. Well, he put it over the zone. Bouncing ball to second, retired nicely. Mish Mulhall with another assist. I do, I had to ask, I can't help myself, as Mish rips it to left, and it's gonna go over the left fielder's head and all the way to the wall. Mish Mulhall with a stand-up double to begin the top of the third. Rips it to right. It's in for a base hit. He hit it so hard that there was no way for Mish Mohal to try and score. Good job in right field by Pagano to get it back in. Have gotten a first pitch strike. And of course they say that. He misses off the outside corner. Got him in a run down at first. Got to keep an eye on the runner at third. Throw goes to third. Now they've got him in a run down. Mish Mohal tagged out. Over to third on the play goes Dylan Lawler. So handled nicely defensively to make sure they got it out and nobody scored. Great defensive play by New York here. This is a big play in the game. I thought maybe they'd wait. Maybe with one or two outs they'd do this rundown play. Fundamentally sound from New York. I'm sure they practiced that play. First base, unfortunately for them. But here comes another knock for an RBI. Excuse me, Doug. That's a great swing by my man. Drew Kane getting after it for an RBI, and now Connecticut is on the board. That's why I think, honestly, you don't do that steal just yet, especially with the big guys coming up. But again, that's one run, and that changes everything. Stays up there, and they're swinging. We got, he's going to make a living up there. Oh, he left this one down. Rivera rips it to right for a base hit. Pinch runner holds it third. Gardner. And the hits just keep coming for Connecticut. This is little Brooks. I remember him when he was really young. Brooks oh, what a has it run wow. by Tony Bags, and he gets the out at first base. Tony Bags next to that one. Wow, that's a huge play in the game. Bottom going into the bottom of the third. Tony Bags ranging to his left. Brandon Phillips-esque. Phenomenal play. Gets the rally, stops the rally, and now New York gets back in the game, ready to go next inning. Ground ball to short. Lawler comes up with it. His throw not in time. Uh, speed kills right there. Their home games. 
on the south shore of Long Island. Burns Park. That drive's going to one-hop the wall. Runners on second and third after the double by Alex Pagano. Get the second base and make a tough throw to first. Bruguera down on strikes. Swing and a miss and a big pump of the fist by Drew Kane, who trots to the third base dugout after escaping a big jam. Yeah, without a doubt. Four, ball four there. Nice, nice job by uh, Hathaway to get on base. Fish with no bread out there, though. Oh. Strike three call. Christian Bakirs with three strikeouts out of the bullpen. He keeps throwing strikes like that. He's going to keep on going. Oh, ooh. Hope that young man's okay. Yeah, he hopped right back up, so that's a good sign. Lifted in the air, right field line, fair ball, and it is dropped. Sliding into second base, Hanley stopping at third, Michael Clark. He had to hold up to see if the ball was going to be caught. If he can do it again. He puts it in play. It's a fair ball. One run scores. And it's three to one, New York. There's your number nine hitter delivering in a huge spot. Absolutely, taking an outside pitch, probably a ball, but he gets good extension with his hands there, drives at the opposite field, finds a hole, hustles down to second base. And his RBI single is what knocked the starter out. Slow roller towards short, runner comes from third. Now they've got the runner from second in a pickle. Tag applied. Good job on the backside by Bakirs to get down to second base. Three. Check swing. Strike three call. That's a big third out. Line drive. A dive. And a catch. Oh, wow. Hanley lays out and comes up with a web jab. Now, one of the big elements of Little League is sportsmanship, and we see a lot of it here. So not only do you have that brilliant catch, but good for you, Dylan Lawler, to recognize that. That's a beautiful thing right there. Ripped up the middle. It's a one-out single for Drew Kane. Taken. Now Will Ryan, first pitch swinging. Race to the base. First base, you know you don't have much time. Rivera first pitch swinging, and the dive, oh, and the oh catch. They are playing with fire here, but guess what? They do not mind. These boys are doing everything they can to win this game. They know how big it is to get to the championship game. What a great dive there. Enjoy to watch. Hit in the air. And right at the center fielder, Fregera, who put it away. That was the easiest one. All three New York outfielders had put outs that inning. The time I was struggling, so it worked out pretty well. Yeah! That ball ripped into right field. And Pagano's aboard with a leadoff single. Runner out there. Fregera is yeah! replacing Pagano, and that's a drive. Deep left center, and it's going to go all the way to the wall. Although both... Runners wind up near second base. Yeah, this is a tough situation. Understanding where you're out at the field, knowing the outs. Let's, I, let's see what happened here. His eyes weren't up. <laughs> he just stopped at second base. <laughs> it, it's fire in your belly. Here we go. The bunt fielded. Fair ball. Ball gets away. One run's going to score. Second runner's going to slam on the brakes at third. That's a single and an E5. First pitch swinging. That's a line drive into center. Kofetz throw to the plate. Not in time. Runners moving up all over the diamond. Ritten nearly took the pitcher's head off. An RBI single by Liam St. George. New York's lead is now six. Roland Clark for New York and Matt Lawler for Connecticut. 
They have volunteered to wear the microphones to allow us to bring more of the game to you. Punch right side. Tony Bags throws behind and not in time. So the leadoff man is aboard, Kofi. Matt was saying, hey, we're going to take a pitch, might as well fake a bunt. Oh. Max Mulhall down on three straight pitches, but Kears has his fourth K. For talking about scattered nine hits, they've been scattered in a strike three call again. But Kears throwing that fastball by the hitters. So it comes down to Mish Mulhall, first pitch swinging, drops it into left field. Runners on the corners with two out. A four-pitch walk, and the bases are loaded for Connecticut. All at second, long oh. first, and that will bring in the second run of the game for Connecticut. A bases loaded hit batsman. Let's see what he's got. Oh, he did. Slow. Slow tapper, tough play. Everybody's safe, and that will bring the potential tying run to the plate for Connecticut. I know it's tough not to do, but we'll see. Oh, he a to... line drive, and it's into right field. Two runs are going to score. Connecticut still has life. Wow. Just wow. Oh, both the last two at bats, both on 0 2 pitches. Finding ways, finding holes. Connecticut is not going down without a fight. First and third. Great piece of hit. I think he, Bakir just gave a little bit too much on the plate there for him to hit that ball. Finds a hole. First and third. Oh, boy. Now we're talking here. This is exciting. Swing and a miss. Massapequa, New York, bends but does not break and wins it 7-5 to five to advance to Friday night's Metro Region Championship game. Wow, what a finish.